Hello my beautiful glam queens! Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I'm Alicia, lover of makeup and glam rock. The votes are in. Thank you all who participated. Every Saturday I will be posting two products in my TikTok feed and here on YouTube and you guys will have a chance to vote which product is your favorite. Also, keep on watching to find out how you can get featured in next week's video. Okay, let's get into the products. We've got Elf Cosmetics! Whoop whoop! Yeah! Elf Skin, to be more precise. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Size of this is 2 ounces and it only cost $11. Can be found at elfcosmetics.com, Ulta Beauty, Slash Target, CVS, and even Amazon. And I do want to mention when you do purchase this, it comes in a box and then in that box it has a little scooper so you could scoop it out without using your fingers. It's so cute. Little plastic scooper and I definitely think I'm going to be using that for probably all my bombs. I had a different one. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm glad I got this new one. Should last you around six months. Free of phthalates, parabens, triclosan, hydroquinone, sulfates, non-ethanol, ethoxylates, and triclocarbon. It is also vegan and cruelty free. This is a solid cleansing balm that melts into a luxurious cleansing oil. It easily melts away makeup, then transforms, and I mean transforms, into a nourishing milky texture that washes away clean. Pretty good. It helps remove makeup, dirt, and impurities from your skin. It better leave your skin feeling squeaky clean. Squeak squeak. Leaves your skin feeling silky smooth and soft. Right away right here on the bottle it says skin types dry, oily, and combination skin. And don't worry it should be very very good at removing your waterproof mascara. Basically it should break down the waterproof formula with the oils. Yes, this turns oily so that it can make it much easier to remove. But because this is oily, that doesn't mean that it's going to remove your natural oils. It should just leave your skin feeling hydrated. But of course, you still want to cleanse your face with a cleanser after this as it will leave some residue of the balm. Then after the cleanser, that should leave your skin feeling clean and refreshed. The way I like it. Now it does have some fragrance slash perfume so I want to say it's on the side of sweet candy uh, maybe a bit flowery 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 <laughs> not strong but yeah you could definitely smell it in there it also has hydrogenated sunflower seed oil glycerin and hyaluronic acid, ceramides and peptides. Okay, so here I am over my sink washing my face with the e.l.f. skin. I do want to mention that if you're somebody who loves washing their face in the shower, this evaporates real fast. As soon as water touches it, it just washes out pretty quickly. So I highly recommend you probably want to massage it all over your face before you get into the shower. And I noticed that in the directions they highly recommend to put it on dry skin as well. So getting into it you want to scoop out a dime size amount with the spatula or little scooper. <laughs> and go ahead massage it on your face. Moisten your fingertips just a little bit just to get some water on them. And go ahead and massage in circular motions everybody. Circular. And that should be helping out removing your makeup. And of course you want to apply it all over but make sure you are careful with your eyes. Don't want to get it in there so keep them closed. But at the same time take a peek at it washing away. Go ahead rinse it out with water. I like to use warm water. Uh, you can also remove it with a warm damp cleansing cloth which other times I do as well. I have my eraser cloths that really help me. Then go ahead with a face cleanser. And then of course after your cleanser you want to go ahead with your toner and moisturizer. Then you can use an eye cream after that. Your choice. Uh, but that's pretty much it. We're done here. See you back in the chair. Next product now. 
Clinique. Take the day off cleansing balm. This is the travel size and it is only one ounce and cost $15. Pretty good. There is a medium size which is 3.8 ounces and that one cost $44. Then there is an even bigger size 6.7 ounces and that cost $58. This little one lasts me a pretty good long time so I'm good with this. Can be purchased at Clinique.com, Ulta Beauty and Target, Sephora and Kohl's and Amazon and even Nordstrom. Should last you around six months. Dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, safe for sensitive skin and even sensitive eyes. It has been allergy tested and it is non-stripping, non-greasy, non-comedogenic and non-drying. Also free of parabens, gluten, phthalates, synthetic colors, drying alcohol, sodium lauryl sulfate, and sodium laureth sulfate. Now it also says free of fragrance, uh, but I slightly smell a little bit of something. I couldn't really put my finger on it. I wanted to say maybe like an olive oil. It's definitely probably the oils. Um, I had my dad smell this as well. It smells a little bit like, to him, it smells a little bit like a greasy lubricant. It is not that strong. It's very light. I did have to buy a new one since I've had this one from like between five to six months already, I believe. Uh, so the new one, very slightly there. And then the older one, the smell gets a little bit stronger. Still a little bit faint, but as it gets older, the smell will get stronger. Just to let you guys know. Clinique's iconic makeup remover in a silky balm formula. It is, of course, a fan favorite. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> it quickly dissolves long-lasting makeup, sunscreen, pollutants, and, of course, waterproof mascara. It will unclog your pores and, of course, cleanse any impurities. Are you sure about that? Does not strip the skin. And get this, it conditions and nourishes your brows and lashes. Leaves your skin feeling soft, clean, and healthy looking. It should maintain a natural moisture balance. It does transform from a solid balm to a silky oil. And Clinique really cares because they want you to know that if you sleep with your makeup on, don't do it. Make sure you clean it off every night whether it's just sunscreen, makeup, maybe just environmental hazard stuff from outside, pollution. Just clean your skin before you hit the bed. Because if you don't cleanse your makeup off, it can lead to irritation, clogged pores, and dullness. This formula works gently and effectively. They also want you to know that this formula is made with less than 10 ingredients. That's it. It is a minimal formula. It has safflower seed oil that helps break up the natural oil found on skin and of course help dissolve hard to remove makeup and linoleic acid, a natural emollient that leaves your skin, lashes, and brows feeling nourished. Okay, I'm going to demo the Clinique on the other side. They do mention to use this before cleanser and any other treatment products. Of course, this is going to be the first thing up. Go ahead, massage into the face. I am probably going to use the same scooper. Just remember to rinse it off that, uh, that came from e.l.f. Uh, so massage over dry skin with your dry fingertips. Uh, if you do want to wet it a little bit, your fingertips, that's okay. You could do that as well. Then go ahead, rinse with warm water, and then you pat dry it. This one I do find a bit easier to use in the shower. Doesn't rinse off right away. It doesn't evaporate or wash off too fast. Then of course, go ahead, follow it with a cleanser. Toner, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, whatever you like to use. 
sunscreened if you're using this to wash your face during the daytime in the morning and if you're using it before your makeup let everything dry by the way first and then continue with your makeup okay let's get into the results now okay here we go we're going to do TikTok first let's do this all right and the winner is do 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 boom elf cosmetics woo elf cosmetics got 78 percent and then clinique got 22 percent Ooh, unique results congratulations elf now let's move on to the youtube okay youtubers what did you guys vote for here we go let's see Is it Clinique? Is it Elf? Is it me? You guys vote for me? No, <laughs> that is not one of the choices. Okay, here we go. Do 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 do. And the winner is Boom! Oh, it is Clinique this time. Woohoo! Yeah, Clinique. Oh my goodness. Yay! So Clinique got seventy-five percent, and then Elf Cosmetics here got twenty-five percent. Not bad. As you could tell, with me buying another one, I am loving the Clinique one. Elf. This is the first time I'm trying the Elf one. The scent is very interesting. I don't mind it. I don't mind scent though. It's pretty good. I definitely love the fact that Elf came with its own little spatula. That was a plus for me. But when I used it in the shower, I was surprised of how quickly it dissolved out of my hands so yeah just make sure to use it out of the shower and you, you should be fine both of them in my opinion works just as well taking off your makeup i like them both in their unique special ways but that's enough of what i have to say about it what about you guys comment below which one is your favorite are you glad that clinique won or are you glad that elf won <laughs> shout out down there leaving your comments and then I will feature you in next week's video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also thank you to those who join me on my live streams. Much love. Much love. <laughs> okay, that's all. That's the end of the video. I will see you guys next week. Keep on loving that makeup. Keep on rocking. And yeah, bye.